Salem's father was very rich. When he died, he left his money and houses to his son. But Salem was young and lost the money very quickly. Then he sold the houses and lost that money too. In the end, he had nothing. He sat in the streets and waited for work. Sometimes he cried things for people. One day, an old man spoke to him. You had a better place in life, said the old man. I can see it in your face. Live with ten other old men in one house. Come and be our servant. Salem walked through the city with the old man and they stopped outside the old man's house. Before they went in, the old man turned to Salem and said, This house is a very unhappy place. But never ask any questions about that. I remember that, said Salem, and he followed the old man through the door. The inside of the house was very beautiful. The rooms were large with floors of different colors. In the middle of the house was a lovely garden with many flowers. Salem could hear the sound of water and bird song. Then he heard other sounds. They came from the other old man. The men wore black and they cried in their rooms. The first old man took Salem into his room. He showed him a box with pieces of gold inside. Use this gold when you buy things for us, he said. Salem also saw a door in the old man's room. He wanted to ask, what's behind that door? But you did not ask questions in that house. Salem worked hard in the house for many years. One old man after another old man died and he put them under the ground in the garden. In the end, there was only one old man Salem's first friend. Then he was ill too. I'm going to die. My son, he said to Salem. Then please tell me something, said Salem. Why are you so unhappy? And what's behind the door in your room? I can't tell you, said the old man. But don't try to open the door. You will be unhappy every day of your life. The old man died. He left the house and his money to Salem. Now Salem was rich again, but he was not happy. He thought about the old man and the door. Why were the old man unhappy? What was behind the door? Salem had to know the answers to these questions. He took a piece of heavy wood and broke the door. The door was open. Behind the door, Everything was very dark and quiet. Then Salem saw some stairs. He took a lamp and walked down the stairs. The stairs went down for a long way into the ground and came out into a cave. Salem walked through the cave and came to the sea. He stood there and looked round him. Then he saw something in the sky. It got bigger and bigger. It was a very large bird. It came down and caught him by his clothes. Then it flew with him across the sea. Salem was afraid. But then he slept. The bird flew all night. Early next morning, Salem woke up and saw a beautiful beach below him. A lot of people waited on the beach. The bird flew down into the middle of the people. The people were very friendly to Salem. They brought him a fine horse and helped him on to eat. Then they took him through the lovely gardens to a beautiful house. Inside the house there was a lovely woman sitting on a chair. When she saw Salem, she got up. You are here, my love. I am very happy now, she said. She took Salem's hand and walked with him through the house and gardens. Everything here is mine, she said. Stay with me and be my husband. Then this will be yours too. I would like that, answered Salem. But there is one thing, said the woman. They went back to the first room and she showed Salem a door. Don't open that door, she said, or you will be unhappy every day of your life. Salem took the woman's hand. 
आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू ओपन द डोर ही सैड आई ओनली वॉन्ट यू सैलम मैरिड द ब्यूटिफुल वोमेन एंड दे लिव हैप्पली फॉर मैनी ईयर्स ही वॉज नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन द डोर बट दैन ही बिगेन टू थिंक अबाउट इट मोर एंड मोर आई ओपन द फर्स्ट डोर एट द ओल्ड मैंस हाउस ही थाट एंड आई फॉन्ड दिस लवली प्लेस वैन आई ओपन दिस डोर पर हैप्स आई विल फाइंड अ मोर वंडरफुल प्लेस वन डे ही कुड नॉट वेट दिस टाइम ही डिड नॉट हैव टू ब्रेक द डोर He pushed it and it opened easily. Everything was dark behind the door. After some minutes, Salem saw a large eye. Then he saw a large bird. It was the bird from the cave outside the first door. The bird jumped into the room. Salem tried to run away, but it was too late. The bird caught him by his claws and pulled him outside. It flew up into the sky and the house and garden got smaller and smaller. The bird started to fly over the sea and Salem slept. After a day and a night Salem woke up. He was in the cave by the sea again. The bird was not there. Salem walked through the cave and found some stairs. He walked slowly up the stairs. and found a door he went through the door and he was in his old house in the city again for many months he tried to find a way back to the wonderful country but nobody knew anything about it in the end he understood no ship could take him to that lovely country and his beautiful wife now i understand about the old man he thought They were unhappy because they made the same journey. They found that wonderful place, then they lost everything too. Salem lived in the house all his life. He dressed in black clothes and he cried every day. He never laughed again.